when I when I work with IK Booster, I actually turn off all my bones and I pretty much just work with the controllers. Um, no, uh, I'm sorry, scene editor. I'm gonna turn the bones on. Mm, bone x-ray. So there's where the bones, if you want to see the bones, you can see them there. As I said, I usually have a pose on zero, like I said, which is my my safe pose <laughs> for my animation. No weight maps. No weight maps. Um, these aren't the bones that are doing the deformations, though. The bones that are de doing the deformations are hidden. Um, the only thing that we're doing different with the, or I'm doing different with the bones for deformations is the placement of the bones, the way I'm, I'm placing them. Um, other than that, it's, it's all straight, pretty much straightforward. Okay. I'm just going to remove some of this animation from here. I don't have uh, my my actual base rig or base rig that I did for this is on another machine <laughs> right now. For the bones? Yes, I do. Um, symmetry. Well, I mean, I, I, I'll do a hard. I. Are you talking about doing bones in Modeler or? Well, I did. I did it all in layout, and um, I, I'll do one side, and I'll, and I'll do a hierarchy copy of the bones to the other side. Do you ever use Skelligon? No. Oh, yeah. For some, for you know, if it's <laughs> for some stuff. <laughs> you know, uh, um, to the the to to drive the the um, two point poly chain, you might you might use Skelligons, you know. But I try not to use them. Yes. Okay. Yes. As long as the keyframe, as long as you have frames that are bracketing that area you want to work in, yeah. So I pretty much just removed all the animation in the scene editor. And now I'm going to slide the timing of just this first part here in IK Boost, all items, so that I can. Hopefully have my pose, my T pose here at frame zero. If it doesn't crash, come on, there it goes. So now you see I just slid the timing of all the animation that I had on my character for those first few frames anyway. So that my my T pose there was originally on 10, on negative 10. Now it's on 0. I was just deleting these out. It it it's thinking about it. <laughs> oh, hello. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, that's probably not a reset issue. Uh. <laughs> Simpsons issue. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that was fun. 
if you delete out that usually that original keyframe that's holding all your your it's that zero it's that zero kind of thing yes he wants to your team before did i just do that which is fine because i have it say i have it backed up <laughs> <laughs> Um, good idea to have your stuff backed up. <laughs> um, definitely, yeah, it's a good idea to have multiple uh, scenes saved of your... <laughs> uh, one of the reasons why this is taking so long to load up, I believe, because I got crazy hair stuff happening on this damn scene. Let me yeah. see. Hair will do that. Um, if I turn on my. I do have crazy hair. Yeah. So I'm going to turn that off. I'm going to get rid of that for this. Okay, so here's our rig. So the arms are all IK boost. Um, there's a feature in IK boost where you can fix items. This means they try to stay locked in that position. The operative word there is try. <laughs> um, right now I, I, mo I can move Moving this uh, controller here, it's fine. If I go down here and say fix, it'll try to, it's trying to hold that there, but it's still rotating the hand. You could go down to, I have, uh, I have a lower arm control here, kind of just rotates the lower part, the very lower part of the, of the wrist there, you see that? Uh, that's for the hand. You can always FK. So I'm trying. If I want to straighten out this hand, okay. So I could even like slick the, the, a, a controller in the thumb, for instance, and say fix there. So I have two fix points. It's going to try, now I'm just moving the elbow. And see how it, it kind of locks the hands down? And it, it does a pretty good job. Um, the problem is, is when you try to get into an extreme pose, um, it breaks it. See how it's, it's moving now? So it's not a good option to keep your feet locked down. Oh, I have I can two two rotation. Okay. So for the leg here, I have if you select the controller here, it shows you that I have IK on the leg for the heading and for the pitch. And then for the bank is using IK booster. And this, is, this helps in stabilizing your IK so much that when you try to get your, your character into an extreme pose, it's so much easier
and you don't have to really worry or struggle with the IK flipping around or moving around. I mean, it, it locks it down pretty strong. And the great thing here is you can just grab the knee control, which is here. And here this shows I have IK on the pitch for the lower leg, but I have IK booster controlling the heading in the bank, so I can just grab that knee, move it where I want it to go, and it stays there. No problem. Right, it's being those those rotations are being controlled by IK booster. So it's really it's really keyframe being controlled by keyframe, but So here's an example of something I have. So we have traditional IK on the feet. If I move my character up, his feet stay locked down. Um, I, I have the main control, the, the object. Unfortunately, the pivot point's like way down at the bottom here. You, I could have placed the pivot point in, around his torso mo more, which would have helped. But um, the other thing you could do at this point is just add in a null object. I'm just going to go ahead and parent it. So I have the whole rig parented to the null. Where's my null? Oh, wait. Ah, oh, that might work. Ah, oh, that did work. Awesome. Okay. So I have IK boost applied to the null, but it's also being it's also applied it's being applied. I wonder if I turn it off on him. Hold on. I haven't tried this yet. Maybe just deactivate it and then apply Yeah, if I deactivate I'm gonna lose my handles, right? Um, let's just try it with it on, because all I want to do is um, just have a way to rotate, move and rotate from that point. And I'm just going to go to controller edit, move that out, oops, that was the wrong one, that's the wrong one. Oh, maybe that is the right one. No, that's the spline. Spline reset. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, when these things are on top of each other, it's kind of hard to grab the controller when you want to. Um... I need a camera. <laughs> camera. But once, if you can get the thing out. Ah, got it. That'll make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So now I can move my character from that point and retain all the IK boost functionality that I want. Even though IK booster is applied to the child? Yeah. 